recording. Earlier in the morning, it's 10.37, 10 10.37, and today is the 18th of May. We're going to check the homework, then we're going to listen about fair trade and talk about it. It's a bit terrible. I didn't send you a video because it, it was going to be a, a bit cruel. So no, no, not good. And then we're going to check passive. Uh, with with a hood, so we're gonna play a hood today, a bit of a hood to check the passive. I'm very interested in in the passives because we're gonna use it, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna have like a mini homework. Uh, this is a group of three, and this mini homework is part of the uh, part of the final evaluation of the unit, and it combines the animals. Uh, the passives as well. So let's go to homework. Uh, sorry. Ooh, where are you? Homework. No, are you kidding me? Come on. Yeah, let's go. Google Classroom. Google Classroom. Google Classroom. Let's check. Check on the homework. Check, check, check. Give me my document back. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to open a new one to check. Bye bye. And I want this one to be on the top. This is how much check. All right, let's go. Do, 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 do. This was ready. So here we start homework six, seven, and eight. Let's go quickly. So number one is done. I mean, this is an example. We this we did this one as an example as well. Let's go with number two. Who can give me the active? Let's go with Pia Pineapple. Pineapple. Let's go. Give me the active. Oh, number two. Cool. Can you give me the active sentence of this one? This one? La respuesta? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you have to give me active and then passive. Okay, so active. Ay, ay, pas ay, no, pero... simple, okay. Okay, Panapo, I'm waiting. Alguien tiene gatos? Por acá? Yo. Y... Oh, estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. <risa> ¿Y qué tiene gato? ¿Es alérgico? Yo sí. ¿Sí? Yo ¿Qué, ¿Qué hace para sobrevivir? Eh, tomar eh, de la proteína. Oh, demonios, ya. Yeah. ¿Qué tal con gato? Ya, yeah, profe, ahora sí. Maldición, ya. Yeah. Number two. Let's go. Active. Pia, pay um, Alexander Rafa, Graham Bell invented the telephone. Yeah. Yeah, that's one yeah. And um, passive? The telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. We're going to check some, not all of them. Uh, I want to go, I want to go now to the, uh, I want to go to uh, this one, number five. Number five, Krista Lemos. Yo? Yeah, yeah, Krista, number five, this one. Un poquito. Yeah. Tenemos que revisarlo, cosa que, que claro, porque aquí vamos a sacar. ¿Qué, profe? La cuatro, la cinco. Uh, number five, number five. Yeah. <laughs> ancient Romans speak Latin. Yeah. Okay. So ancient, ancient Romans, uh, past the past of speak, the past of speak, past simple. Spoken. Uh, ooh, very close. Very close. Past simple. Past simple. Speak Latin. The eyes. No, spoke Latin. That's the passive. Yeah. Uh, 
That's past simple. And uh, Krista, the passive, ¿cómo que en pasivo? Pero si no lo dije. Speak ah, Latin, the accent romance. Ah, ya, cuidado, cuidado, cuidado. Entonces, um, a ver. Entonces, ¿qué, qué hablaban los romanos? Eh, ¿Crista? Latín. Ah, ya, entonces eso va primero. Ya, pues, latín. Sí, ah. El latín, latín. El, esto está en pasado simple, entonces eh, necesitas verbo de verbo to be de pasado simple. Parecido aquí como al primero, el que dijo la pía. Was. Ajá, Latin was, y ya, después tienes que tomar el verbo que me dijiste tú y sí. tiene, que estar, tiene que estar en pasado participio, que es la tercera columna. ¿Alguien lo dijo por ahí? ¿O fuiste tú, parece? Ah, profe, ya no sé. Speak spoken. Oh. Yes, spoken. I know, spoken. Spoken, Latin was spoken by, ¿por quién es? Krista. Romans, los romanos. Yes, by ancient Romans, by ancient Romans. Por los antiguos romanos, ya. Yeah. Este arma crista, ya. Yeah. Este ejercicio decía que todo era un pasado simple. Entonces tenemos que ellos hablaron, oh, hablaban latín. Hablaban, pasado simple. Y pasivo en pasado simple, latín was spoken. Este was lo saqué de aquí porque es el pasado simple del verbo to be. Y se necesita siempre para los pasivos. Y después el verbo pp o la tercera columna de los verbos irregulares. Y ahí dice spoken para speak. Y después le pongo el by porque es quien lo hace o quien lo hizo. En este caso, the romance. And let's finish with number six. Number six, uh, let's call uh, Catalina. Uh, Catalina Muñiz. Microphone or no microphone? No, I think Catalina doesn't have a microphone. No. Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's change. Uh, Miss Constanza Valenzuela. Tony. Constanza is not here as well. Mm. Hola, profe. Ah, Constanza. Yes. Can you help me with number six? Change it to uh, active, uh, and simple, please. Uh, espere. Yeah. Yeah, please let me know. Uh, the Alice, the yes. the Germans in 1945. Uh, the Germans in 1945. Uh, is this correct? Defeat? Sí, con la ah, yeah. Defeated, yes. Defeated the Germans in 1945. Yeah. 19... No sé cómo Defeated, yes. Todos los verbos terminados en un sonido T. A ver, sonido T. Y sonido, sí, defeated, wanted. Sí, sonido T se le agrega la ED. Defeated, wanted, um, interested, interested. Si sí, todos los terminados en sonido T se agrega el sonido ET al final. Un dato ahí. Ya. Yeah. And Connie, passive. In 1945, the Germans were defeated by the Ali. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, accept it, yeah, yeah. The time is to find the Germans. The Germans, the Germans, what? Good, funny. Were de defeat defeated? By the yes. Defeated by the Alice. Good, 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 good. So you can move around the time. Yes, that's true. It could be here, it could be there, as you wish. But yeah, correct. The Germans were Germans. Plural, where? 
So this activity is quite simple. Only use was or where, was or where, was for the singular, where for plural, that's it. Uh, that's the activity, honestly. It was the easiest of them. So this one you have to complete with the correct one. Let's see quickly. Uh, Martuko, what about number one? What took off the cake? My car is at the service station. It um look gonna show you a trick. Okay. In this activity, what you need to do is just choose the correct tense. Uh, no no dice nada más, elige correcto. So what we need to do is you you gotta use this time expressions. With these ones, we can know what time is it. For example, in the number one, now, or right now, or at the moment, or today, uh, we are talking about present continuous, always. When we have last, or yesterday, or last night, or last year, or, or something like that, we always talk about past simple. So these things, these little things, every day also is a time expression, years also, they speak about a time reference. So I'm gonna show you the rest. So it says right now, what do you think, master? It's being repaired? Yes, so it's, it is being repaired. So we have present continuous, verb, verb to be, because it's it, uh, present continuous verb to be is being. Esto siempre va junto. Verb to be con being con ing cuando es, son continuos. It's being repaired. And el verbo con ed es porque es regular. Yeah? Está siendo reparado. Right now. So, number two. Uh, Fernandita. Yeah. Will you give me number two, please? Dinner. Number two, this one. Um, Dina, Dina. Well, oh. served. 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 Yes, Dina was served uh, last night. So we have last. Last is an equivalent of the past simple. So we know that it's past simple. So it's good. Thank you, Fernandita. Number three, let's go with. Uh, we had a girl, we had a boy, now we have a girl. Uh, let's go with. Miss Cata Rojas. Number three, your, you check. Okay, we have already. Already is a time expression connected to the present perfect. Yet, already, uh, yet, already, just, uh, since, for, uh, how long. So eso está conectado con present perfect. Creo que lo hice, pero no sé si estoy bien. Don't worry, we are checking. Ya Cata. Yeah, you say has been already deposit con Mede. Your check has already been deposited. Yeah, deposited. Right. Okay, so it's the same thing like I mentioned to Constanza. This verb deposit finishes with T, so it's deposited. And your check has already been, ha sido depositado. Yes, it's correct. This is the present perfect because of the already. Present perfect is has or have, and this is passive, so we need been, and then the verb with ed, in this case, because it's regular verb. Yeah, 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 good, 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 good. Let's continue with number four. Uh, Estevalos, please. Newspaper, every day. I don't know if Estevalos is alive. Um, hey, let me use get my stuff first okay okay, okay. So, well, every day every day this is the key uh, next meeting last month today is very cloudy you should have some some light 
¿Escucharon esa noticia de que una persona se escapó del hospital con coronavirus? Sí, sí dos veces. Me encontraron acá en la Florida. Sí, ¿Qué? ¿Dos veces? Sí. Sí, fueron dos veces, profe. Un porfiado tenéis que ser para acabar dos veces. Estaban diciendo que era un loquito. Ah, no sé, a lo mejor tenía síndrome de escapista. Me gusta escapar. Profe, era un paciente psiquiátrico. Ah, ven. Ya. Mi hermana estaba ahí. <ríe> Así que sí. Veis, ahí viene información de primera fuente. Entonces, sí, el problema no... es que los medios no explican eso y la gente comenta cosas que no tiene que comentar. Claro. Gracias, Martina. Ahí me queda mucho más claro. Solo salía que se había escapado dos veces y que toda la gente, oh, ¿cómo se atreve? No, no tiene sentido. Sí, pero si es un paciente psiquiátrico, yo creo que ya es problema del mismo hospital. Y de ah, su propia seguridad con la gente y con la gente que trabaja ahí. Sí, totalmente. Uf, qué mal. Tengo una amiga que es enfermera y tiene coronavirus. Ahí están pasando muchas cosas ahí adentro. Sí, ahora dio positivo una pediatra. Ay, demonios. Ay. Así que igual es complicado. Bueno, si ellos están contagiando, imagínense, imagínense nosotros si llegamos a estar en clase con tanta gente. <risa> Yo los voy a contagiar por culpa de mi hermana. <risa> <risa> no, por favor. Mi cuaderno. <risa> Así claro, que sí. aquí. Develops, yes. Try your luck. Veamos. Tenemos 10 minutos para revisar esto. O sea, menos. 7. Let's go. It's, it's delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, the newspaper is delivered. Yes. Um, yeah, it's easy because uh, what we have is every day, every day is present simple. So, present simple passive is verb to be and Uh, PP verb. That's it. Good. Oh. Every day, always, often, sometimes, hardly ever. All of those are connected to the present simple. Todo lo que sea rutina en este caso. So next up we have this one is a year. So in the year, uh, we should have cuando un año está definido en tiempo. So when we have a year in time, is the past simple. Now uh, let's go. Coti, let's go, Coti. Coti. Oh, profe, pero, 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 ¿cuál? La number five. Eh, pero, la, ¿todas las frases o solo lo que van en medio? No, everything, you just write everything. Yes, the book, the book. Uh, the book was published in 19... Eh, ¿Cómo se decía? 1950? Exacto. Yes. So the book was was the book was published. The book was published in 1950. Yes. Uh, we have past simple is a year because it finished. Stop. Finished. So that's past simple, past simple, passive. The verb to be was aware and the verb in PP. Good. 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 Thank you, Coty. Let's continue with. Uh, yes, Sam. Sam. Uh, hey Sam, number six, please. So we have here tomorrow. So that is is a clear clue for the future. Let's go, Sam. Sam. Sam, are you there? Sam. I think Sam's not here. Uh, Marty, can you help me, Marty? Uh, it's number six. Number six. It says tomorrow. So it's the future. Leo todo. Sorry, Marty? Leo todo. Ah, uh, yeah. The patient. Will be. Okay. Will be. Is going to be seven minutes. Okay, so we have uh, the patient will be, ahí está super, will be, ahí tienes tu, la, tienes tu 
futuro simple en pasivo, y después tomamos el verbo, será, va a estar arriba, examinado, entonces sería, examined, examined, by bla 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 bla. Eh, el, ese going to be no es necesario porque aquí ya está todo, ya tomaste todo, será, will be, uh, yeah. será examinado, examen, el paciente será examinado. Um, el otro día estaba en el B, en el C, estaba en el C, y me dijo la Isidora Escobar que le llamó la atención de los pasivos porque dentro de los videos que había mandado era, hacía referencia de que estas estructuras generalmente se ven en las noticias en los diarios, y que le llamaba la atención porque le había puesto atención a unas noticias de, de otro canal, y que casi todas las personas estaban hablando en pasivo, incluso en español. Aquí dice, un paciente fue internado, o el paciente fue examinado, tanto, tanto. Entonces, esta estructura está estrictamente conectada con el tema de la televisión. Let's see and finish. Now we're going to do number seven and we we'll finish with this one. Number seven. Uh, let's call it. Inti, uh, uh, Inti, do you have do you have a microphone? Inti. Ah, uh, let's call Dania. Hey, Dania, you. Let's go. No, Felinti, tenía mal el micrófono. Yeah, yeah, I I realized about that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Dania, thank you, Inti, anyway. Okay. Can you help me out with the number seven, please? The question? Will Next. be discussed. Yeah, 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 yeah. The question will be, I uh, will, will be discussed. Uh, uh, the meeting next morning. So it's the same as Martina. Tomorrow and next is the future. Thank you. Dania, can you help me with the number eight too? Last. That is past simple. Dania? 20 new, ah, 20 new workers were hired last month. Yeah, excellent. So last, uh, past simple. So 20 new workers were, because it's plural, the verb uh, hired is a regular verb, so we put T, hired. What's the meaning of hired when you hire a service? Contratados. Yes, thank you. And what we have, Martuko, number nine, please have a look. These library books already. Already is an expression of the present perfect. Martuko? Martuko? Well, we lost Martuko. Let's go. Where are we going to turn? Ah, these no. books, ah, oh, wait. These books have already because it's present perfect have already returned ah, already been returned so martuko already means uh it's a synonym of present perfect present perfect is has or have been already returned okay, that is the idea and ya han sido de okay. and last one fernandita help me out to finish this one please Yes, good. Hundreds of people. Uh, uh, Hundreds of people. Uh, were injured? Were or injured, have yes. been injured? Uh, I go with the uh, past simple. Were injured because it's last week. Okay. So good. ¿Eso anyway. realmente importa? O... Uh, yes, is they are connected. Usually, these clues tomorrow next last month those things are connected to the tenses mm, yeah. yeah that is the only way you can Pero somehow... así como para hablar con alguien um, también hay no bono 
hundreds of people have been in the uh, and see the I, I mean it would be correct but still there would be something strange if you say hundreds of people have been injured in an accident last week han sido han sido la semana, la semana pasada yeah it could work it could work because last week is not that far away it's quite recent but yeah fernanda in some cases it can work yes yeah yeah in some cases it can work yeah actually uh these things are just minimal uh grammar points okay so we know sometimes more than what their native speakers know so yeah yeah you can sometimes keep, keep that uh well this one we're gonna do orally because we're gonna finish because it's 11 and we're gonna need we need to continue with the other things so if number one goes like uh simple present people speak english in australia it should be oh this is not the one oh where is it it should be something like okay. yes me quedo una duda en la nueve okay this one es que yo dice eh, have been already está mal o tiene que ir después ah. del been lo que pasa es que el, el already con el just, que son parte de present perfect, eh, toma lugar entre medio. Entonces tendría que ser have already been returned. El already siempre va entre el auxiliar, have o has, y el verbo. En este caso tienes have o has, already, y después tiene el verbo been. Entonces por eso va al medio. Ah, ya. Yeah. Gracias. Ajá, siempre va metido al medio, el already y el just, entre medio del auxiliar y el verbo, y en este caso, claro. Have, o has, por lógica va ahí, y después tiene been, eh, return. Ahí tiene dos verbos metidos, el been y el return. Es por eso nada más. De lo contrario, sonaría, sonaría raro. Uh, so, how's this one passive, simple passive? So, it would be English. Let's go, people. English, present simple. It's. He's spoken. Spoken in Australia. Good. In Australia. Good. Uh, it says, next one, I'm writing a report now. So let's have a look at the passive here. So object. Object, object. The report. The report. The report. Okay. Present. Present continuous. Is. Being. Being. Written. Uh, it's been written. Yes, written. And that's it. No hay que ponerle nada más. Si le ponen by me, es como opcional. Yeah, esto es opcional, no, no es relevante. El reporte está siendo escrito, eso es importante, nada más. Yeah, next one. Uh, it says dog bit mailman. Pass simple. Uh, the object, el objeto. The mailman. The mailman. Pass simple. Verb to be. Was. Bit. Was. Bit. Was bit. Was bitten, yes. Uh, could be by a dog, uh, by the dog, porque es el perro, no cualquier perro. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So next one is past, past continuous. Uh, it says he was fixing the car. When... Okay, so uh, object. ¿Qué estaba arreglando? The car. Okay, so the car pass continues. What's the where? Was was still being fixed. Was still being. Yeah, yeah, could be, could be. Was still being. Yeah. This is still. Es porque está la oración nomás. 
Usted ven, eh, tenemos el verbo fix. Fix. When I arrived at the garage. The car was still being fixed when I arrived to the garage. El auto aún no estaba siendo reparado cuando llegué. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And to finish, oh, oh my God, wondering why is it not moving? Oh, is that the one? I don't know, we have more. All right, uh, let's see. Someone gives us a tour at the museum. Uh, object? Que no dieron? Tour of the museum. A tour of the museum. And uh, this is future will, future will. Will? Will be given. Will be given to us. Anasoto. Uh, by someone who don't know. A tour of the museum will be given to us. And we have to change now. And the others, well, are gonna do orally. They are going to tear down the old, the old building. So it should be something like the old building is going to be torn down. Tear, torn. She has already given him bad news. Uh, the bad news have been already given to him. Could be. We had built the houses before the tsunami hit. The houses had been built before the tsunami hit. And finally, they can deliver the furniture. The furniture uh, can be delivered on Tuesday. And you should have finished your homework hours ago. Uh, your homework should have been finished hours ago. I get it. That's the most difficult one, in all cases. I will go and review the comment. Okay, dokie. This was the homework. Let's move now to other things. Uh, I would like to talk about a little bit. Uh, last week we talked about this animal trade. Uh, in this case, we talk about specifically about uh, animal testing it was a bit terrible. But now uh, I'll continue with another terrible topic, and this is the fur trade. What is the fur trade, by the way, as you can see in the picture? So what were we talking about, about fur trade? What's the fur? Nico, what's the fur? Nico? Or Martin? What is the fur? Okay. Yes, so we have, in this case, yeah. So the fur trade. There are many countries where, uh, which practice this. What we have here, it's a fur farm, okay? It's a fur farm where they keep animals to remove their fur in order to be sold. Countries like Russia, countries like China, they do that a lot. What, do, what they have is usually they have small cages and they have foxes, they have minks. What are the minks, do you know? Mink, a small animal. Oh, it's really cute. Look at that. Mm. This is a mink. Mm -hmm. So they have the, the mink, okay, and they use the fur, okay, the fur to make, I don't know, scarves and gloves and other things. Uh, so they use minks and also they use a lot of other things. Um, there is a movie which is connected to the fur, to the fur trade. And actually, it looks like this one. Have you seen this movie? There is a famous famous actor in it, Leonardo DiCaprio. What's the name of the movie? Do 
Do you know? Food Train Canada. And look at that. A lot of fur. Oh my god, no. So, what's the name of the movie? So what, what they have is the movie is called The Revenant or El Renacido. The Revenant is about the fur trade. Uh, so what they did, now uh, here you can see another picture of it. They have, uh, oh, okay. So it looks quite terrible. So what kind of animals do you think they obtain furs from? What kind of animals? Apart from minks, what other animals can you get the fur from? Miss Pineda. Miss Tania. Daniel? Daniel, well, I lost Daniel. Catarrojas, what do you think? What kind of animals do they put to sacrifice to remove their furs? I probably no entiendo. <laughs> okay, don't worry. So, uh, the animals they use usually to remove their furs are foxes, bears, lynxes. Uh, rabbits, dogs, cats, uh, polar bears. Uh, what else? Snakes. Sorry? Snakes. Snakes, true. Crocodiles. Crocodiles. Crocs, yes. Oh my God, there are many. Uh, also, the tigers. Uh, wolves. Okay, so they remove all of that. What about what about Chile? Uh, is it legal to sell animal first? Is it legal? No, in Chile it's not legal. It's illegal. It's illegal. So in Chile it's illegal to sell animal furs. Okay, uh, you can't. For example, oh, I have a, I don't know, a fox, a fox fur. I'm going to sell it. Uh, you can't. Okay, it's protected. But countries like China and other things. I'm not going to show you the videos because they are very graphic and it would be not good for the morning after having breakfast. But just, oh, oh my God. Uh, Hola, amigo, ¿cómo estás? If you want to learn more what about What the that, hell? Are you me? If you go to the fur trade, that you will see lots of things. It's just especially connected to China, dogs and cats, and oh uh, man, it's just terrible. Not good for now. Okay. So what do you think they're using the furs for? What's the use of the furs? What do they make with them? What do they make with the furs? Why do they sell them? People? What do they make with the furs? They make coats. They make coats. What else? Clothes. Uh, they make clothes. What kind of clothes? Yeah, yeah, agree. What kind of clothes? Clothes. Ah, gloves. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Gloves, yes. Coat, gloves. What else? Scarves. 
scars. Yes, they use scars. Uh, scars it should be like this. Scars. Is it? Let me check on that. What else? For example, snakes. What are you, they use them for? Shoes. Boots. I said boots. 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 Uh, scars. Yeah, it was good. Uh, boots. Shoes. What else? In a bonnets. Movie. Huh? Sorry. Hats or bonnets? Oh yes, bonnets. Yeah, bonnets. Goody, goody, goody. Hats. ¿Cómo se dice cartera? Uh, purses. Uh, or purses. handbags as well. Handbags. Uh, crock. Handbag. Let me see. Ah, but no, de <laughs> no, de los croc. Crocodile. Uh, no. ¿Por qué le pusieron las manitas? Da igual se ve acá, pero. Profesor, eso, profesor, ya es muy cruel. Sí, igual se ven bacanes, pero lo pueden hacer de plástico. No. De cuerina, de cuerina, no sé. De otra cosa que no sea animal. Ah, claramente muy cruel. O sea, si tú después te pones eh, masoquista, te vas a Google y empezás a buscar cómo hacen las carteras de Louis Vuitton. Ahí va a quedar loco. Créame, ya lo he hecho. Entonces ahí. Handbags, hats, yeah, they use all of that. So what we're going to do now is let's have a look at the at the running. Probably now you're going to be able to listen to this piece of text. Okay. And then we're going to answer this thing out. Okay. Yeah. Les voy a dejar con el listening ahora. Vamos a probar si funciona. Si que se escucha muy fuerte, ustedes le van bajando un poquito, ¿ya? No van a poder escuchar mi voz. Ojo. Esto lo descubrimos hace poco, así que vamos a ver, probar qué tal funciona. Aquí les va. Do you want to come out for a coffee, Barbara? Oh, hi, Alex. Um, in a bit. I'm just reading this fascinating article about the illegal wildlife trade. Oh, you mean rhinos and whales and tigers and that sort of thing. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it is. Did you know that worldwide illegal trade in animal products is worth about five to ten billion dollars every year? Five to ten billion? Really? That's a huge amount of money. How shocking. Isn't it? It shouldn't be allowed. Oh my goodness. Listen to this. Roughly 40 million animals are being killed for the fur trade every year. 14 million? No, 40 million. Four O. Oh, that's an awful lot of fur coats. Well, actually it isn't. 40 million animals doesn't mean 40 million fur coats. Apparently it takes about eight big cats to make just one fur coat. Does it? That's sickening. Poor tigers. And that's just big cats. Coats can be made from other animal skins. And then it takes even more animals. Such as? Such as, um, well, 15 lynx because they're smaller than other big cats. Uh, 55 mink. Because they're even smaller. Yep. And if squirrel fur is being used, it takes... Mm, 20 squirrels? No, 100. Just to make one fur coat? Yes, just to make one fur coat. They say the average number of animals is around 40. 40? That's an awful lot of dead animals. Oh, do you think people know that? Shouldn't think so. I didn't know that myself until just now. I didn't know how much a fur coat cost either. So how much does one cost? Oh, have a guess. Um, we've got no idea. A thousand euros, two thousand euros. Well, it says here that a good quality one costs at least 10,000 euros. No, what a rip-off. <laughs> you won't be buying one in a hurry then. No, I certainly won't. I wouldn't want one. I think the whole thing should be stopped. Because it's not just about the number of animals killed, it's how they're killed. Apparently, if they're on fur farms, they're kept in cages. And that's a horrible life. 
And if they're wild, they're caught in traps. And that's a horrible death. The whole thing is pretty barbaric, and all in the name of beauty. That's not beautiful. That's very ugly. Oh, let's go and have that coffee. Hmm. Quite a conversation when you have coffee. Wow. Okay. Uh, were you able to listen? Martuco, se escuchaba, Martuco. Sí, profe, se escuchó. Ah, ya. Yeah. Se escuchó perfectamente, de hecho se, se escuchó bastante fuerte. Sí, sí, pues sí, ese era mi problema. Ya que esto lo descubrí hace poco, que se puede compartir. Ah, bueno. Let's have a look. Okie dokie. Let's have a look at the questions then. So, what we have here is the uh, worldwide illegal trade of animals products is worth how much money annually annually a b or c the worldwide legal trade in animals product is worth valley one to two billion three or four billion or five to ten billion Esa es la carita de Martínez. Chistosa. Uh, Cata Rojas, ¿any idea? Creo que es la C. Yep, that's the one. So it's not only fur, it's not only fur they sell, it says it includes other things, like for example, something that they didn't mention. Um, how do you say, how do you say cuerno? Cuerno. Giving you that. How do you say cuerno? Cuerno. Horn. Horn, yes. So rhinoceros or rhinos. Horn. Wow, that's terrible. Uh, horn. Horns and also, how do you say colmillos? Like from elephants. Ivory. Two letter missing. What's the meaning of ivory, by the way? Ivory is the material of the of these uh, colmillos. What's the name of the material? Marfil? Yes, it's very expensive. Ivory. It's a very nice name. Ivory, but what people do with it is terrible. Ivory. Ivory is marfil. And the word for that is tusk. Ivory tusks. Uh, the ivory tusks are los colmillos de los elefantes. Okay. Uh, I don't know who in the world believe that it would be a good idea. Let's take the the tusks from the from the what the, what the hell is this? Okay, so elephants are not the only one that has that have tusks. Uh, also, sea lions. Okay, so there you go. There you have the elephant tusks, and they are really expensive. Only elephants should wear ivory. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, only elephants. Yeah, let's continue with the other question. Uh, roughly, how many animals are killed annually for the fur trade? Uh, Fernandita. Oh, mis ojos. Fernandita, how many animals are roughly killed? For fair trade. B? Yes, 40, 40 million. Okay, so that's uh, like three times Chile, around three times Chile. Burning animals. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, fur coats can be made from what? Different animals. 
Yes, they mentioned squirrels. Why would you want a squirrel coat? God damn, squirrels are so nice. Okay, on average, animals are killed to make one fur coat. How many animals are killed to make one? 40. 40, yes, that's a lot of animals. A good coat costs at least. 10,000 euros. 10,000 euros. Eso es como 10 millones por ahí, ¿no? Como 10 millones, a ver. Busquemos ahí en su eBay. Venderá, no creo. Yo creo que eBay tiene restricciones de, de cierto objeto. A ver. Eh, Fox. Eh, Fruit Coat. No, no creo que lo vendan acá. ¿Tendrían ustedes uno de estas cosas? Yo me no, creo que es muy caro. Mm, es tan caro. Acá dice que los mejores valen como 10 millones, pero... Bueno, de, sí que sí deben ser abrigaditos. Eso no, no lo quita nadie, pero... Pero sí deben ser... Ah, no, no me lo pondría. 15 millones. Changos. Russian Saber. Sable. No, Rihanna, no. Chuputa, Rihanna. Bueno, a lo mejor no sabía. No, no sé. Ya, yeah, no. Next, next, next. Next, next, next. <laughs> next, Rihanna. Uh, sable. Russian Sable. Russian... Sable. Veamos de quién lo hace. Mini tan lindo. Pucha, y sale el animalito y salen puros abrigos, nada que ver. ¿Cuántos de estos? ¿Cuántos necesitarán para hacer una cha chaqueta? Como 40. Bueno, esta, esta sale. 7.500 dólares, como 4 millones y algo, o 5, bueno, depende del dólar ahora, o hay que cargar. Chao, chao, ok. okay. Uh, ah, I can move it, ok, so, good one, and let's finish. Wild animals killed for the first are usually these animals. <laughs> Caught in traps. Yes, the wild animals are caught in traps. Yeah, that's true. But they have to be very careful in order not to damage the the skin, the fur, okay? So I think fur fur and skin are different, okay? Uh, fur, pelaje, uh, skin, piel, yeah. They have to be very careful. Okay, let's finish with the book, my bye book. And Oh, it's time. No, I won't be able to do the other thing. Sorry. Okay, no, I won't give you the homework. We can practice this later. Um, yeah, let's do it later. Yeah. Okay, kids, I'm sorry. We used more time than I planned. Okay, I know you have another class, so I'll see you around. I'm going to probably send you like a practice activity for the passives okay mm, okay thank you martina thank you fernandilla thank you dania thank you martuco thank you qatar ramos qatar rojas um, for participating uh you're gonna receive the details of the homework today because i'm gonna check the ones that i haven't okay so you will see that and Crystal Lemus and Martina, don't worry. Okay, people, see you around. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. See ya. See you around. Ciao, teacher. Bye, see bye. you around. Gonna be careful. Ciao, teacher. Bye, bye bye, people. Sorry. Need a more time. Le voy a enviar un correo por el pet. 
el pet. Sí. ¿Por tu da... pet? ¿Por tu resultado, es que... pet? No, pero es que ya me salen los resultados. Es más que porque... Por los temas de qué universidad era. Me, me, yo me acuerdo que leía notas en algún lado. Los que podía convalidar con las ramas de inglés. Pero... Mm, era por la prueba internacional. Ya, pues. Para yo mandártelo. Ya. Ya, bacán. Ya, te lo voy a buscar igual. Un poquito aquí, va, eh. Bye, bye.